And this is the protection of the nation from foreign terrorist entry. Seven days into his presidency, Donald Trump signed an executive order saying it was necessary for the security of the United States. It set up a temporary 90-day ban on travelers from seven countries, including Iran and Iraq. The five others are Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. The order initially banned lawful permanent residents and people with valid immigrant visas from the seven countries. It also blocked all refugees from entering the United States for 120 days and banned refugees from Syria for an undetermined amount of time. The result was disorder at airports all over the world, especially in the U.S. Immediately, immigration lawyers went to airports to support and answer questions of frightened travelers and family members. This is our way of showing the world and even showing ISIS and Al-Qaeda, no, we love Muslims, we welcome them, we're going to support them. Refugees are welcome here. Protests spread across the country, in the streets and at airports. Most demonstrators were opposed to the executive order. Some supported Trump's action. Do they understand she can't have a country without borders? All right, I'm here to, to represent the rest of America, the America that elected Donald Trump. Democratic lawmakers gathered on the steps of the Supreme Court to voice their opposition. We will not let this evil order make us less American. We will fight it with everything we have, and we will win this fight. The Republican Speaker of the House supported the order. We need to pause, and we need to make sure that the vetting standards are up to snuff so we can guarantee the safety and security of our country. The executive order is harmful, discriminatory, and unconstitutional. Soon, a number of lawsuits against the executive order were launched in states such as Massachusetts, New York, Virginia, and California. Bob Ferguson is the attorney general for the western state of Washington. He filed a lawsuit. It called for a suspension of the order nationwide, saying it is separating families and harming businesses in his state. On February 3rd, federal judge James Robart agreed with Washington's attorney general. He ruled the executive order should be suspended until the courts could hear more evidence from both sides. With this decision, protests continued at airports, but individuals separated from families were reunited Lawyers from the Department of Justice appealed to a higher court. On Tuesday, three judges with the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals heard arguments from both sides. Two days later, they sided with Washington State and refused to enforce Trump's travel ban. Shortly after the decision, Trump tweeted, See you in court. I'm Dorothy Gundy.